Dublin's F4. It is the strawberry alarm clock, and we can now beam into what looks like a prison cell from the bill from back in the day. <laughs> See Lewis Capaldi. Yes, how you doing? Uh, as as it feels that way sometimes, I'll be honest with you. Uh yeah, I'm in I'm in London. This is a hotel room that we're in. So it's been a, it's been a it's been a, a long stay, let's put it that way. Is it one of those hotels where like the all these tiny rooms in? There's nothing What's too right? big. Oh yeah, no, no. It's, it's, to be fair, it's, a, it's a, a decent size, to be honest, but it's just um, it's not very. It hasn't been decorated to to to, to great to a great extent, and it's a bit. You swing it. Could you swing a Nile horn in there? Maybe not a Nile horn, but perhaps like a Kevin Hart. Do you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 like a smaller man. Now, the the most important question, apart from your new single, is what was the chicken fillet roll like to have with Nile? It was incredible. It was brilliant. I had. Chick, so the chicken, obviously, I had garlic mayo, jalapenos, a bit of cheese, and some salad. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that I fit, the jalapeno seems to have divided a lot of people when I've mentioned it to them? Uh, a lot of people are saying that that's a bit controversial, but it was delightful. I enjoyed mm. it. Just mm. go into Spire and ask for a Capaldi. You said it. You said it. Is that, really a, that, thing becomes a, thing. Is that a personal thing or a Scottish thing? What? Uh, what the jalapenos? I think it's a personal thing. I don't think, yeah, yeah I don't think it's a, uh, I mean, I've never had a chicken villa roll, but like, I think, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, just a personal choice. Although my my hoop was not thanking me afterwards, I'll tell you that. Nippy. <laughs> so Forget Me is the single. Mm. It's sad, Lewis, but not as sad, Lewis. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of got a bit of, uh, I got a bit, it's sad, but like, but it's got a bit of the got a bit of the pace, got a bit of tempo, but yeah, fast, a beat. And, fast and sad. It's like my love making. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm pleased with it, man. I, it was just like a, it's nice to kind of have something out. It's a bit of a different pace. It's a bit of, a bit of a different um, vibe slightly to the old stuff. Um, I don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. The, the, the finished an album. The album's finished, and there's plenty of the 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 ballads and all the rest of it on. But I thought for coming back, it'd be nice to kind of. Um, put like a, a flag in the ground a bit and be like, right, okay, we're back now. This is this is us. And I think the world has suffered enough over the last two years without me coming back with a straight up ballad again. Do you know what I mean? I think let's give them a bit of time to readjust and then come back with that stuff. But it's good, man. I'm 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 happy it's out and I, and I can't wait to see what people will think of it. Funny you mentioned the last few years because uh, when you were in Malahide Castle, you explained to everyone why you didn't make an album. Yes. During that time. Uh-huh. So it's, you know. yeah. Is it the show opener, the song? Uh, I think so. I think I think so. It could replace because we've been playing. I've got a song called Grace that, that's been the show opener for quite some time. So I think this could be the this could be what, what we've been looking for to kind of move Grace around and give it some give it some yeah. new life somewhere else in the set. You could swing your microphone stand off to one side a bit on this one, you know, a bit of Elvis. Yeah, for sure. I I can I can I can I can I can shake my hips, shake my shake yeah. my little bum. But um, but yeah, man, I think so. I, I I hope it gives. That was the thing making this song and then uh, kind of inform the rest of the album. I, although it's still pr- like a predominantly sad record, it's it is a lot faster and it is a lot more. Because playing live, obviously, you kind of get a feel of the crowds and what they like and what they don't like. And I felt like in our set, we were missing a, a song, a couple of songs that have got a bit of that have got a bit of a uh, tempo to them. So um, so yeah, it's all it's all it's all been informed from live and and kind of having to sort of. Like kind of gearing gearing the music towards playing live as opposed to like the other way around. Will he give you a chance to come out in a Chewbacca mask on stage somewhere again? I think so. I think I don't see why not. I mean, I'll have to have like a um a a a a, a rock star of of no Gallagher's magnitude come out and call me something. But then by that time, by that time, uh, I'll be ready to go. Don't you worry about that. You're the hardest man to start a beef with, I would imagine. Well, I mean, some people, some people have managed to do it. Don't worry about that. But, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. The, the no longer thing was the weirdest like couple of weeks of my life because then, like a few weeks ago, like I'm not a few weeks ago, like maybe a year ago, he doesn't, he did an interview and was like, oh, he's a good lad, and I was like, all right, cool, this is great, nice one. So, but I don't think it was ever. I, I think some people on the internet thought it was a, a lot more malicious than it was. I just thought it was yeah. like light teasing um, from from Noel. So it's all good by me. So I've heard some Speak. rumors. Sorry, I've heard some rumors about the album. You yeah. can confirm or deny 
I've heard there's a Niall Horn song. No. There's 11 tracks. No. Ed Sheeran is on a track. Mm, kinda. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've written a song with Ed Sheeran, but he's not on it. Okay. Um, but we didn't actually, we never wrote it together. He was in a different, he he kind of wrote the start of it. And um, he wrote the start of it and it just became like this. Uh, I went in with Johnny McDade and Steve Mack, who are the amazing songwriters and producers. Um, and they showed me like, they were like, oh, but we, we had written a song. And then they were like, oh, we got this like verse that Ed wrote with us that we can't really think of a chorus for, um, if you want to hear it. And then I, they played me and then I sang the chorus and then, that was it. That was a song. So yeah, there is a song on the record that I have written with Ed for sure. You got him. You got him. Exclusive. We got him. With a guy who's a bit of a chancer. His name is Mikey. And yeah. he came into work after Malahad Castle and said, oh, you won't believe who I was hanging out with. Before mm. his gig, after his gig, mm. I hugged him. And we were like, yeah, right. He didn't. Do you, Michael has sent in a message. So have a listen to this and see if he needs to stop. Maybe you need a barring order. Okay, cool. Hey Lewis, Lewis Capaldi, it's in the name, my old pal. How are you? I heard the guys were interviewing you and uh, I thought you'd like to hear a familiar voice uh, to put your mind at ease a little bit. But I hope you're doing good. I heard you've been in the country. <laughs> kind of been waiting on the text, to be honest. But uh, I know you're a busy guy. We had a great time at the Malahi Castle gig and uh, I know you miss me. We had a lovely embrace after the gig. If you want to, you know, hang out sometime, I might be able to free something up. I hope you're doing good, man. <laughs> <laughs> Some man, yeah, give, you need to give him my details. We need to link up. Yeah, okay. it's been too long. It's been too long. Well, next time you're back in town, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll send him backstage. Lovely, sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> or else get better security. We're not sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, look, the album is coming, the single is here. Mm -hmm. It's good to have you back. Thank you, man. Cheers. No, it's good to be back. It's a bit, it's a bit nerve wracking, it's scary, but. It's exciting, man. We're firing, firing on all cylinders. We're back. And uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't go tits up. Um, we'll soon see, though. We'll soon see. <laughs> There's always stand up, Lewis, if the music doesn't work out for you. I doubt it, honestly. I, it's, it's, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, not as, I'm not as good as, as I used to be on the old quips. I'm slowing down a bit in my old age. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're sticking to the music. That's good news for everybody. So uh, yeah. good to talk to you, Lewis. So, man, likewise, thank you so much, guys, for having us on. Cheers. Cheers. Legend.